all right welcome back to the channel i'm king of Baden. in today's video we're back well not even back we're starting our star wars what is this fallen order go ahead and get into this i'll probably cut more of the filler stuff in this game Such a rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It'll be good for us. Here he is, Chief. An error has been detected on line 10A. Polar clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The guild will double your pay for this shift. Why, Cal? Well, it's a score. That couldn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Get to work. This way. I'm right behind you. Okay. Like I was saying, uh, I probably want to turn down the game sound some more, actually. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, I'm probably going to cut out more of the filler stuff in this game because it is a lot of running around, exploring the rest of the world and stuff like that. But uh, actually, I want to bring that back up but it's also like this story is very good but there's just a lot of space between the actual cutscenes and boss fights and stuff like that so i think i'll probably cut more of this than i've done for pretty much any other series there's a lot of movement aspects in this game too as compared to uh other star wars games like in battlefront 2 the most movement you had was like rolling and jumping maybe i can't even remember if you could jump Bitch. Uh, but yeah, there's like not really parkour, but there's like wall climbing and stuff like that. After you, kid. So, more aspects of motion and stuff. Plus, the game looks great too. Like, not even like skipping past the fact that I'm playing on PC over console, which is obviously gonna make it look better. I haven't seen the Luke or Hulk in ages. Yeah, ages. Breaking her will be big money. All right, that was weird. Let's go. There's a little bit on the left side that kind of glitched out, right? Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down some more. Okay. Last time. Um. So obviously we're starting off as like scrappers, and then the movement. That's what I was at. That's what I was talking about. Completely forgot for a second. So a lot of parkour-ish stuff, like run up, climb on it, climb ropes stuff like that like you can get to a lot of places oh sliding through walls like this which i usually miss most of the time personally hey you okay yeah i'm good ladders out though you're gonna have to find another way yeah no problem i'll improvise see you there pal yeah, improvise, like you said, is most of what's going to can get control of whatever Improvise is a lot of what this game is going to be. Or well, like with getting around is a lot of improvising and air quotes where, you know, if you can't get through to it one way, there's probably a different way. And then there's also like, OK, come back when you get disability, kind of like with SpongeBob, uh, how that was. Okay. Trash. It's not approved trash. All right. Um. Yeah, kind of like with the SpongeBob series, how you had to. Was it like in Jellyfish Fields? There's that one bowling section, but couldn't do it until I got the bubble bowl move. Stuff. Like, oops. 
stuff like that. Let's see. Right now, we're just trying to get to caught up with our friend. It's probably just trying to. Well, not even probably. I know that it's just trying to show off some of the basic movement stuff. Get your controls down on how you want to move and everything like that. Everyone here seems so calm uh, about me just running around through everything, basically. Okay, I don't see where I'm supposed to go. It's, yeah, this is what happens to me a lot is where I'll get to an area and then I'll be like, all right, now what? Always takes me a second to figure it out sometimes. Whoa, that scared me. I oh, didn't even see her there. That's the idea. A lot of balance beams. So yeah, just really just showing off some like not even some like all of the basic movement stuff that you'll have. You don't actually have to balance on that thing either. He kind of just leans left and right depending on which arrows you touch. But I've never encountered an issue where he falls and you saw 60% through on my first playthrough. A lot of rats and shit in here too. It's a gross ass place. Just passing through, guys. No need to come out and say hi this time. I think he's talking about the rats and stuff in the area, but when like a separatist scrapyard, basically, well, not even separatist. I think it's empire at this point. So an empire scrapyard, uh, you know, tearing, tearing apart all the old Republic ships and stuff like that. This is not long after the order. Actually, I don't know when this takes place. Let me not say that. No, no, it's after the clones are taken over, but before like the first order shows up. Okay, the dude's also kind of like not exactly snark, snarky or anything, but he's kind of a smart ass. Not much, like not in a you're annoying type of way, but just in a like the basic likable way of being a smart ass. Basically, it's not over the top or anything. Yep. So they're cutting off this little wing right here on the Republic ship. You can see the, like the orange laser going through it. I wonder if it's actually going to show it all. Cause I don't even think I saw this before. When they said ship cutter, I thought they were referring to uh, our character. I think his name is Cal. I guess they just fly that to somewhere else to be torn apart slowly. I mean, you would think this is the process of taking down actual battleships in real life, but most of the time they just blow them up and sink them. I don't know how much of the stuff they take out of the inside, but it is ultimately saying like all the processes, the metal, the pollution, everything that came from the process of making this ship was completely pointless, at least in my opinion. When you can take something and reuse it and you choose not to, it feels like you just wasted everything that went into making the first product. I think I need to be over here. I thought I was supposed to go on over here too, but that's also not letting me. Maybe I had to climb up this wing. Did I just fall off the edge again? You well. Nah, I have to climb up this fucking rope. I did that last time too. Didn't fall off nearly as much as I did the first time, but yeah, here we go. Because I was supposed to be watching this cut as I climbed up. Uh, didn't remember where to go, basically. Basically, what my question was is like, why can't they just drop the whole thing into a melting pot? That's what my whole thing about, uh, you know, wasting the materials that went into the product in the first place. Secured. You okay? 
They cannot pay me enough to have to work in conditions like this, though. This is the type of shit that, like, the fucking baby boomers were doing and saying, yeah, it's good work. It ain't that bad. People should want to work in conditions like this type of shit. They talking about work. Hello. Can I line this up? There we go. I was trying to climb, like, climb up on the middle, or at least without middle line was. So that's what was throwing me off. It's a Jedi fighter. What a score. It's a real scrapper's payday. I mean, this he's been here, what, four years? Five. Never flew this, but down on a blaze of glory. Those Jedi. A real tragedy. I've always said they couldn't all be traitors. Yeah, maybe. Uh, this is just our lucky day. Empire's gonna get a lot of good material out of it. Yeah, here we are, scrapping these ships from the war, just so they can turn around and make new ones. What a racket, huh? All of us risking our necks for the bosses. And the pay was better back during the Republic, too. Hey, you really should watch what you say. Listen to me. Find us feet like this, it'll be your ticket off this soggy rock. What makes you think I want out of here? <laughs> Come on, Cal, you're a young guy. You don't end up like me. <sighs> Eventually, you gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. I couldn't get over how dirty this dude's hands are either. Like the actual dude himself. And then I also wonder whose ship that is. It's probably you probably can figure it out on your own, but I just can't tell like by looking at it. And this is exactly why I couldn't work in conditions like this. We already went and had to. Oh shit! I'm playing. We already went and had to like uh jump around on these levers that are barely functioning. The shit is rusted out and covered in oil. I'm sure none of us are getting paid enough to actually live, but since it's a tyrannical empire, we just got to deal with it, you know? Please no, trust me. I've seen them. I've, I've seen the stories. I've heard it. Pro, the bounties out on people I like know. you. I know. I know. Prague was trying to blow up his whole spot. We need to be careful. Tappers owes me a favor. 
I heard he was up on uh, Mount Shadella. Yeah. He won't be seeing me for a while, Prof. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, Kel. I just realized how easily they've been finding people in Star Wars in general. Like, they have access to this almost like i think it's just a galaxy but the entirety of that galaxy and they find people easy as hell all the time like it's never been an issue for them to be like where's this person they always happen to be in the place that someone said they're going to be like no one's been moving from planet to planet like anybody else like any main character no one else is moving from planet to planet like that even the people the main character has been looking for like so you say you're not going to be seeing me for a while. I'm like, how do you know this dude's going to stay? Like, well, maybe Prague, if, I, if I'm saying his name right, maybe Prague, right? Because, you know, he's been stuck here for years already. So it's, it's assumable that he will still be here, right? But then you'd have to find him in the mess of all of these uh, scrap sections, like the sections that they're scrapping in, all of the, the different locations. Who knows if he's even going to still be alive when you come back? Like all this different stuff, right? And people just be like, yeah. It's, they they make it sound like going? you're going back to someone's permanent house. Oh. Okay, that looks like the droid that we saw earlier. I don't know if it's the right colors. I'll probably adjust the lighting. We'll do it right there and hopefully that should be a little bit easier to see in all the dark spaces too. Cause I know YouTube is gonna change the way it looks also. What do I stand in the doorway? Nope. contraband they could have though outside of like jedi stuff right which you know shit is real when you get the black soldiers that one looks similar to kylo's ship but it's definitely different right i think it's just a high ranking ship because vader's ship i think looked different too once he got his, his dark side ship. Is this all of them? Yes, second sister. We seek a dangerous fugitive. This is no common anarchist, but a devotee of the treasonous Jedi Order. <sighs> Failure to turn over this traitor will result in a charge of sedition. Turn yourself in, or everyone present shall face summary execution. I think it's time someone came forward. I, uh, I've been working on this heap a long time. Way before the war. We refit and rebuilt ships. Best in the galaxy. Then came the Empire. And engineers became scrappers. The workers? They just started getting worked. Prof. We all know the truth. 
We're just too afraid to say it. To the Empire, we're all just expendable. Yes, you are. Uh, uh, no! Yes. Look at this. A lightsaber. <laughs> I found the Jedi! Now you know this boy's dumb as hell if he's gonna swing the blade towards her blade already. You know? Hold it. Don't move. Like you see a lightsaber blade, don't swing towards where it's gonna come out at. Even if he didn't know that was the blade, if you swing upward overhead like that, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, fucking, don't swing towards their blade. Even if it wasn't double sided, she still would have just had to pull it out and block real quick. Uh, so, you know, he kind of set himself up to just get blocked like that. Also, he didn't have to reveal himself. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on a second. Yeah, yeah, you are. Go ahead and shoot. There you go. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. So, so e even then, still, like, after Prague, uh, cut the things. Okay, after Prague gives himself up, right? He had no reason to open his blade or anything. All he did was basically have his friend die in vain because he died. Or he stepped forward to protect Cal so Cal didn't get caught or anything, right? I just almost threw up. Anyways, he does that to protect Cal. Then Cal still outs himself anyway, so what was the point? You might as well come forward immediately, right? I like how it does like those little cool takedowns too. Uh, he's fucked up. Yeah, flip him, cut him in half. It's not as gory as other games would have been too. So it doesn't show like the, the opening where he would have got cut at or anything like that. It just puts that little red slash on him. It dries up to black, you know, keeps it simple enough. Nope. He's trying to teach me how to play the game and I'm just not doing it. Okay, now we can keep going. Up. Oh. Maybe I should lock on to my targets and start doing that more. Cause I definitely didn't do it uh almost ever. Still don't do it in my own playthrough. I don't want you to shoot first. Ooh, that's great. I've never done that before. I block one and it kills a uh, close range person. That is my favorite part, though, is that you can drop down on people like it's Assassin's Creed. The game never really enjoyed it personally, but it's still cool that it lets you do that. A shift to evade, double shift to roll. Oops, I'm gonna roll it off. Main goal is to try and block the least with close range, like little close range stuff. It's the block and counter. And anything, most things that have a counter are going to give you an insta kill or like a bunch of damage after you counter them or block their move. So like the move is always the block. It's not a power. You cannot power your way through this game. I had to slow down and actually learn how to play a melee based campaign game. Like for like for honor, basically. So if you're decent at for honor, you'll be good at this. Need cover. Got to move in between first. Now. You probably see me push shift to sprint a lot because every other game it's shift to sprint. But in this game, I made a left control because it feels better. Are you finna shoot again?
feels better for the combat for it to have left control. That way I'm not stretching my fingers to uh Damn. I'm not stretching my finger trying to use something that's gonna be common in the game. So that's why I did it. Gotta get down. Oh. Fuck was that? Oh, okay. I didn't see the rail at first. So when I dropped down, I thought the rail came out of nowhere and just started slicing the train in half. up but couldn't even go straight up but it's funny to me how fast the empire would destroy its own stuff just to try and kill it kill a uh, jedi like that level of trying to silence stuff should be your cue to know that they're evil no one no one good is trying that hard like hard enough to break their own materials to get a kill look at the look at the bay of pig <gasps> oh, okay i'm good Look at the Bay of Pigs invasion. That shit started off with America attacking itself, right? I think it's the Bay of Pigs. Anyways, America attacks itself during the Cuba, Cuba's all the issues with Cuba, right? So you know that America is the bad guy. Why are you hurting yourself? Why are you doing damage to yourself in the pursuit of one thing? That doesn't even equate to the amount of damage you're doing to yourself. Like in this case, they're wiping out a whole train to kill one person. Of course, one, per one Jedi could bring down their entire situation here but if all of these materials were so valuable to them you would think that they're going to do it in a different way right or at least you know just killed him when you had him held up by his skull i think or his shirt or whatever like when the second sister and the other person i can't remember if she's the sixth or the ninth or what but the big girl and the little girl the why didn't they just kill him Obviously, she had the skill and the know-how with her lightsaber over Cal, who immediately swung towards her blade. The other girl didn't have to try at all to hold him, was one-handed him no effort, like he was a fucking toy. But they didn't kill him then. They waited for him to be on a train and then sent a, a, with either a droid... Or... That was weird. And sent either a droid after him or... Hello? Either send a droid or a piloted ship after him. They do get repetitive, those finishers, though. Yeah, yeah. If you know it's going to end like this, why don't you stop shooting, dumbass? You just watch your friend get that bolt. The fuck? Oh, I thought this was like a plant or something clinging on. Unless that's tied down, that definitely should have flown away. But anyways, dumbass sees me deflect the bolt back at his teammate, and he's like, "I don't know, man. I think I got this one." Okay, that's concerning based on what we know is happening. You're not gonna move. Okay, look, look, look. Here's what I was talking about before, right? You know they're the bad guys, because not only were like they destroying this entire, the entirety of this train, or any, and that, all that, right? They also decided to take out the entire train line. Now America's fucked up with that war pigs thing, war pigs, bay of pigs thing I was talking about, right? But we're not destroying our train lines evil, right? We're still not gonna mess up our whole internal infrastructure despite it already being fucked up from just how it was. That's a little bit different at least. You better hover because we both gonna die if you don't. Ah. Yeah, we're not gonna mess up our trains or our shipment areas intentionally. So that was my whole thing about the Empire being pure evil. I'm 
recognize that stance. Perhaps you've had some training after all. Who is your master, Padawan? Someone I killed, perhaps? What Jedi gave their life so that you might live? Okay. Get out this corner. Jeez. All right. Not showing that I actually know how to play this game right now. Okay. Great. Forgot that she does that. I don't like quick time events on PC at all because it hurts. Well, not hurts, but it just tires out my fingers. Fast as hell. Fucking missed, bitch. I understand we was right next to each other, but still. Dumb as fuck for thinking that you all shoot a fucking Jedi to death as a single person. Dumbass. I don't know why the pilot can do that himself because she wasn't holding him she was holding the controls she knows it's whatever okay shut that thing off and grab some seat thanks for the help but who are you people my name is Seer Junda, and this is my captain, Grease Dritus. How you doing? Yeah, the Manus is my ship, but you better pay attention to this lady here. So, who are you? Cal, Kestis. Who was that back there? An Imperial Inquisitor. She's a Force user hunting Jedi survivors. And now that she knows who you are, she will not stop until she destroys you. How do you know so much? And why'd you help me? track Imperial communications. We heard the Inquisitors were heading to Braca, so we made our move. Oh, yeah? Well, what's the bounty on Jedi these days anyway? That's gratitude for you. Look, I get it. You've been surviving on your own for so long that it's impossible to trust anyone. And it's what's kept you alive. But this is about something bigger than just surviving. Like what? Like rebuilding the Jedi Order. You too? Anybody else? Oh, we're not good enough for you? The Jedi Council? They're gone. Oh. So I'm all you've got. Captain, set a course for Bagano. Aye, aye. In the meantime, try and relax. Go, you're safe. For now.
You gotta move on and live your life. Find your destiny. Calicam! You were talking in your sleep. Weirdo. <laughs> Okay, I think that's gonna be the end that we found these random people got on the ship with them So we might just stay here with them, you know, like you just chill out Uh, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video share with your friends. All this stuff helps me grow the channel Uh, I don't care if you want to keep seeing this Star Wars game because I'm gonna keep playing it I kind of post what I want to that's how some of them other weird ass games them friday frenzies that's where those came from probably do like entire series of friday frenzies because i'm doing what i want to i just want to play different games to break up the monotony of the games that i was playing at the time so that's all that was but thanks for watching the video and i'll see y'all next time